Welcome back to Colorado Homes On Demand, and now for the weekly real estate roundup with veteran real estate newspaper columnist Mark Samuelson. Mark, great to have you back on the show. Good to be here, Chris. So what's the single most notable story you've written up over the past month or two? Well, that's an easy one. It's uh, two years ago, I did a uh, column on a project called Trellis. It was kind of in between Curtis Park and the ballpark. And uh, that was uh, priced at that point, kind of new trendy townhomes from about six hundred and fifty to six hundred and seventy five thousand dollars. And I wrote that up again a couple of weeks ago. At this point, the prices are less than half, starting from three hundred and fifteen thousand nine hundred dollars. And uh, not surprisingly, after my story ran, they sold four of those in one day. So uh, that's uh, that's a good thing that to know that at some point there's a price at which everything that's in inventory right now seems to move. Wow, four sales in one day? Of course, you're talking half price, right? And half price, and that's a pretty unrealistic situation. It lets you know that deals are out there, yeah. but it's not the kind of thing that uh, somebody could really be looking for on a, on a widespread basis. Well, Mark, we always appreciate the inside track on real estate. Great to have you on the show. Good to be here. All right. Coming up, a couple more great properties featured by Caldwell Banker and the area's finest realtors.